This is a training module for Vichet IGBT MOSFET gate drive optocouplers. Welcome to the training module on Vichet IGBT MOSFET gate drive optocouplers. This training module introduces basic knowledge of IGBT gate drive optocouplers and Vichet's product offerings. To best explain what an IGBT driver does, we will refer to this industrial application. The control of a 600 volt, three phase motor driving a robotic arm. The low voltage sensitive electronics and user interface are shown on the left, while the high voltage and potentially noisy motors are on the right. Notice that there is a feedback loop from the robotic arm to the controller providing speed, position, and status data. Let's first take a closer look at the optocoupler in this loop. Optocouplers provide isolation. They optically transmit a signal while electrically isolating the transmit and receive side. They play a key role in protecting sensitive electronics from high voltage spikes. In a way, they are like a brick wall keeping noise, EMI, voltage spikes and RFI out while allowing clean data signals to pass. Here is how they work. First an electric current turns on the infrared emitting diode. The light from this diode travels through IR transparent epoxy to a photo detector, in this case a phototransistor. Current is generated by the phototransistor and this current is then used in various circuits. Light can travel between the emitter and detector, but electricity cannot because there is no direct metal connection. Let's see what happens when a high voltage spike comes through a power line into a switch mode power supply. In this case, the sensitive electronics are on the right. The transformer blocks the spike, but it can pass via the feedback loop and damage the sensitive electronics. Insert an optocoupler in this feedback loop, and the voltage spike can't get past the optocoupler to the output or sensitive circuit. Back to the robotic arm. Working back from the robotic arm, its motor is driven by an IGBT module. In this case, there are six IGBTs in the module. What is an IGBT? IGBT stands for Insulated Gate Bipolar Transistor. It combines the high switching speeds and voltage driven capabilities of a MOSFET with the high current handling capabilities of a bipolar junction transistor. A module is simply a combination of two, four, or six discrete IGBTs in a single component. IGBTs are found in numerous industrial and consumer applications. Motor drives and motor controls like our robotic arm are using AC motors, DC brushless motors, typically 10 to 20 horsepower and up to 800 volts and 50 amps. They are also used in welding equipment, uninterruptible power supplies, inverters, induction stove tops, and plasma display panels. To power and control the 600 volt three phase robotic arm, there are six IGBTs, two per phase. For each IGBT, there is an IGBT driver. In this example, a total of six IGBT drivers. An IGBT driver provides a drive voltage to the gate of the IGBT to switch it on or off. The IGBT will then switch on to provide high current to drive the load. As an optocoupler, 
It optically isolates the low voltage control circuitry from the high voltage load like a three phase motor. IGBT drivers provide a high voltage output from 15 to 32 volts to turn on the IGBT and a low or negative voltage to turn off the IGBT. To do this, the driver has an emitter and photodetector with an integrated control IC shown here in orange, which drives the two output transistors TR1 and TR2 according to the truth table shown. Vache Optoelectronics has introduced the VO3120 and VO3150A IGBT drivers. The VO3120 has an output current of 2.5 amps, while the VO3150A has an output current of a half an amp. They have the widest operating supply voltage from 15 to 32 volts, the highest operating temperature up to 110 degrees C, and very low input supply current, 2.5 milliamps or less, depending on the temperature. And finally, an isolation voltage of 5,300 volts. They're available in a DIP8 leaded or surface mount package. Vache's optocouplers provide comfortable headroom between breakdown voltage and supply voltage, over 55 volts, which makes it more rugged in industrial applications. In order to turn off the IGBT, some larger IGBTs require negative gate voltage. Because Vache has such a wide supply voltage, these devices can offer a high side voltage. In this example, 22 volts, while having a healthy 10 volt negative gate voltage. This decreases switching time, reduces losses during turnoff, and provides additional DVDT noise immunity. Having a low input supply current is a clear benefit to customers. It reduces power consumption, generates less heat, and requires smaller heat sinks. As the operating temperature increases, the supply current decreases. Note that a 25 degrees C and higher the input current will be less than 1.5 milliamps.